Once you've signed up for your Woodpecker account, you'll be taken to your dashboard. Scroll down and click on the button to open Word for your platform. I'll click on Open Word for Mac and be prompted to launch Microsoft Word. Click Open Microsoft Word. Woodpecker will automatically be installed to your home ribbon in Microsoft Word and Word will launch itself. Now, let's open up a document to start turning it into a Woodpecker template. I have a basic certificate of incorporation here, and I'm going to launch Woodpecker alongside it. To do so, let's click the Woodpecker button in the Home tab here. Once Woodpecker launches, you may be prompted to sign in again with your account. Let's make the Woodpecker window a little bit bigger so we can see it easier. The first thing I notice is that there hasn't been any fields created for this document yet, so let's create our first field. To do so, we'll move up to this plus button here and click Create a Field. The first field I'm going to create will be Company Name. I'm going to type in Company Name and scroll down to select Save. We now have one field here, but you'll notice that there's a plus zero next to the company name. This indicates that this field is being used zero places in the document. Obviously, we'll want to insert this field at multiple locations of the document. The easiest way to do that is to select the location where I want to insert the field, and then click the plus zero button. Clicking the plus zero button will insert a reference to this company name field, or what we call an instance, and you can now see that that instance of company name is in the document surrounded by a blue box. If we were to now update company name to Acme Corp and click populate, we'll see that Acme Corp will get inserted where we inserted this field. If you have Microsoft 2016 or later, you can use the bulk insert feature, which is a much quicker way of inserting fields into the document. To do so, let's click this down arrow here and select bulk insert. Bulk insert allows us to specify a word or phrase that Woodpecker should look for and insert company name at each one of those instances. Let's search for a company name in brackets, like so. I'll click insert and Woodpecker will find one occurrence of company name in brackets and insert company name at that occurrence. Next, let's create a field for the location of the corporation's office. I'll go back over to the plus button to click create a field and I'll name this company address. I'll click save and now I have a new company address field here. I would like to insert this field at this underline. So I'm going to click and drag to select the underline and click the plus button once again. I'll now create another field for company city. I'll click save and do the same thing One more for Company County. And a final one for Company Zip Code. The next thing I notice is that there's a registered agent name here in brackets. I'm going to create a new field by clicking on create a field once again, and I'll call this registered agent name. Let's use bulk insert to make sure that we get all occurrences of registered agent name. I'll click the down arrow, bulk insert, and type out registered agent name in brackets. Click insert, and Woodpecker only found one of them, which is great. Now, let's create a field for number of common stock shares. To do so, we'll click the plus button again and name this number of common stock shares. Number of common stock shares is almost always likely to be a number instead of text. So, for the type here, I'm actually going to select number, which will only allow me to enter in numbers and not any letters. I'll click save. Go ahead and select the number of common stock shares and click the plus zero button. Now let's do the same thing for par value. We'll create a par value field, also have it be a number, click save, and then I'm going to insert it where this number is. I'll click the plus zero button, and then I want to get rid of these brackets that were in the document previously. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the document and we'll see that there's incorporator name and address lines here. 
Let's create a field for incorporator name. We'll choose a single line text field and click Save. Now let's select incorporator name once again. Click the plus button. And then we're going to do the same thing for address line 1, city, state, and zip code. This time I'm just going to use bulk insert to make things go a little quicker. Let's do the same thing for city. State. and zip code. Finally, I can see that incorporator name shows up two more times down at the bottom. So let's go ahead and select each one and insert our existing incorporator name field that we have. We're all done. Now we have a fully functional woodpecker template. To wrap things up, let's make sure we do a file save as and save this document as a master template. Remember, all woodpecker templates are just Microsoft Word documents. Make sure you save it as a .docx. Let's call the certificate of incorporation master. Now that I've saved this certificate of incorporation master document, I can share it with my team via email or via the document collection. Let's see what that looks like. If I go to the menu and go to collection, I'll see the other documents or the other templates that I've created and saved to my document collection. I can save this master document to the collection so that I can access it later and share it with my team. I'll click add document, add current, and Woodpecker will save this template to my collection. Now that the template is saved to my document collection, I can populate multiple templates at the same time. Let's fill out this template with some dummy data for now. Instead of clicking populate, I'm going to click this down arrow and click populate multiple. This will populate my current template with the information I've specified, as well as allow me to select from my document collection which templates I'd also like to populate at the same time. I'll go ahead and select the engagement letter and the Woodpecker Mutual NDA is an example. Let's scroll down and click Populate, and all three of these documents will now have all of the information that I've specified entered in at the correct locations. These three documents will be populated with the information I've specified, and I'll be able to download these documents as a folder or share a link to that folder. That concludes our basic tutorial of Woodpecker. If you have more questions about using some more of the Woodpecker Advanced features, please either visit our Help Center, which can be found in the menu here, or chat with us in real time and ask us whatever questions that you have.